I'm spending the next couple of days doing a farm survival catch and cook with my hands for you on this island. Thank you. Now the real adventure begins. Got my hands for you, and we're heading that way. I gotta get the oh, There goes the boy. We're heading to the clear water off the point up here. This is gonna be a wild adventure, guys. I'm bringing you with us. Let's go. Whoa, look at the birds. They're like circling me. Oh. Woohoo! Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Woo. All I've got in this mission is my mask, my gloves in case a big crayfish presents itself, and this hand spear. This was literally like 50 bucks. There's nothing much to it, but it is one hell of a challenge, and I can't wait to see what I can get with this. And apart from that, there's no real bloody plans. Woo. Ow. I'm heading up here to get a better vantage point of the coast. Holy shit. Woohoo! <laughs> Look how beautiful this is at the moment. And there's a bit of a reef out there that I'm gonna dive along, and there's a drop off out the back. It looks absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. An eagle's nest. Well, it used to be an eagle's nest. All bones and sticks and all that kind of cool stuff. Ooh. Oh, there's the drone right there as well. Oh, let's keep moving this way. These birds are bloody swooping me right now. I'm not welcome. So let's get in the drink. Ugh! <laughs> 
It is so rare to find a mud crab out in these remote islands, but this time of year, they are migrating. The females migrate out of the deep waters and the breeding cycle continues. I made a video on this before. I'll link it in the description so you can watch and you'll learn more about these mud crabs. But for now, I'm putting this beautiful girl back where I found her and on to a hand spear, fun survival, catch and cook. This is a bloody good start. Ew! No. Oh, I can really smell it now. Ah. Oh no, I thought it might have been alive. Rest in peace, old girl. I'm sorry. They get exhausted, disorientated, and they don't make it back to the water. Sometimes they can flip. We've actually rescued a lot of turtles along this shore right here. And unfortunately, we didn't get to that girl in time. It just happens, that's nature, man. We're gonna keep moving. I hate seeing that kind of stuff. Wow, check out this little beach. <laughs> but this is awesome. Oh, shit. Whew. Oh, I'm just cupping some shade for a little bit in this cave in the cool because I'm starting to cook, man. I'm gonna head out the back there from this little beach and head out into a bit deeper water. This is probably my last hurrah. I'm going to get a fish right now. I'll call up the boys just so they can back me up when I'm dropping those deeper drops and uh, I'm not coming back in until I get a fish. Cool. Righto guys, wish me luck. I'll see you in the blue. I did it! A beautiful Rankin Cod! That is what being selective and sustainable is all about. Let's go find a place to cook this beautiful, beautiful Rankin Cod up. Thank you, mate. Yes! Woo! Ah. Ah. Oh. There he is. Ah. Won't take him too far from his home. Just wanted to show you guys. That is a baby Gwena or Bangara. They grow to almost two meters and they are the biggest parenti, biggest lizard that we get in Australia and one of the biggest in the world. Oh, he's got a tick on him. Get rid of that. Oh. I just collected some tinder, some little sticks here. I'm gonna make a fire right here. I have a little bit of a plan. I got these two bigger sticks. I'm gonna put one either side of the fire, one there, one there. Obviously, I'll put them in the ground a bit better. And I'm gonna use my hand spear across here, just like that. And it's sort of gonna be like a rotisserie. I'll put the cod on there and I'll slowly turn it like that and hopefully it'll cook even. First thing first, I'm gonna prep this cod, get it all ready, straight on there, make the fire and I am bloody starving. Hello, straight up. Hello. Hello. Oh, look who it is. Oh, it's 
definitely been eaten something. It's a bit pongy in there. It's been gutted and gilled. The reasons why I do that is you don't really know what it's been eaten. So in this case, it's actually been feeding. All the glass fish have been sitting in this guy's belly for ages and ages. Also, I've taken the gills out. I am bloody excited about this. Thank you so much, mate. It's gonna unscrew the barb so I can put it through the fish. Now I just gotta put this through the mouth. And I'm gonna put it through the body there and it should stay on like that. And I think this is gonna work. Perfect. I gotta get this quite level. So I want the hand spear and the fish sitting about this high above the flames. Not so it's gonna burn and also so it's gonna cook. So I'm gonna dig this in both sides here. I've got a few rocks to put around it and it should be absolutely perfect level. We'll be able to cook up that, cook up that Rankin. I'm gonna make this quite solid because the fish is probably three kilos and the heat will probably affect the sticks and that. So I wanna make it quite solid so it doesn't cave in on me halfway through cooking because that would be a bloody disaster. A few rocks. That is pretty bloody good. We have restocked a lot of merch on the shop, youngbuds.co, adventure shirts, all the sizes. Get on there, check them out, youngbuds.co. Cheers, guys. Oh, this is looking good. The moment of truth. Oh, that is going to be perfect. Wow, how good is that? When I have the fire going, it's nice and hot, I'll put this back on and that should slowly burn it and I can twist it and turn it as I go. Let's make some fire, baby! Woo! Yes, there we go, baby. Come on, some smaller sticks. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, we got fire, baby! Yes! It is working perfect. Nice and slow. Five minutes on each side. We've got a little bit of a drama here. She's fallen off the spear. <laughs> Normally when the flesh goes soft enough for it to fall off the spear, it's perfect. So this is cooked. I might have left it a little bit too long. So <laughs> I don't really know what to do here. Jago gets a hand. Ah, you bugger. Ah! All right, the moment of truth. Yes! Yeah! Oh! Look at that, it's falling apart. It's perfect. All right, your beauty. It's like a planter. <laughs> the moment of truth. Did I cook it good? <laughs> no joke. That is perfect. That is like perfect. Normally I just chuck the fish straight on the coals and it's pretty inconsistent, but having it up, rotating it, taking the time, that is better than you can cook in a bloody oven. Oh, wow. Righto, Jacko. Want a bit? Yeah. Ah. I'm not letting that go to waste. <laughs> bit of crunch. Oh, good. Oh. Wow. Here you go. <laughs> As you can see, we absolutely demolished this cod. I hope you enjoyed that fun catch and cook with the hand spear. That's a bloody wrap, baby. I just wanted you guys to know that it is very thought out what we do, and we don't do anything without thinking about it for all your younger generation or anyone doing this at home. I'll see you guys bloody soon. Stay safe.